The field of immunology as a whole has changed dramatically over the last decade or more. It's exciting to see all the new knowledge and all the new information that we've uncovered as to the signaling pathways that are involved in inflammatory diseases. However, that hasn't quite translated yet into new therapies. We're currently using 50-year-old therapies to treat autoimmune and inflammatory diseases, and there's a dire need for novel and innovative therapies to raise the bar of efficacy in these patients. We started Aquilium with a desire to deliver new therapies to patients that can dramatically improve their, their patient outcomes and lives. The team at Aquilium is really a, a small but mighty team. We've been at it for several years now, and the disease we're trying to treat, acute graft-versus-host disease, is a life-threatening condition. The journey on uh, developing a therapy for acute graft-versus-host disease, or acute GVHD, really started with work that the Dana-Farber uh, Cancer Institute in Boston uh, a few decades ago. We're quite pleased with the results we've seen to date and are now embarking on a phase three study to further explore the uh, safety and activity of the drug. And we're hopeful that we uh, will be able to show that elizumab can have a significant impact and improve these patient outcomes. Itilizumab is a monoclonal antibody that targets the CD6 alcan pathway. This pathway is critically important for both the activity and trafficking of T cells that drive pro-inflammatory processes in autoimmune and inflammatory diseases. We need to remember what we've done in the past because what we've done in the past really fuels the future. And uh, the data that we compiled in the 1980s and 1990s is being used to help patients right now. And really, uh, clinical research in medicine is an iterative process. It goes step by step by step. In the early 90s, pioneering work by Dr. Rob Seufer and Jerry Ritz at the Dana-Farber Cancer Institute used CD6-targeted antibodies to deplete CD6-positive T cells prior to engraftment in patients. And in these studies that looked at over 112 patients, they saw that depleting CD6-positive T cells prior to engraftment significantly reduced the rates of acute and chronic GVHD without the need for concurrent immune suppression. This was really a crystallizing moment in our thinking in that italizumab also targeting CD6, but not depleting, rather modulating these T cells could be effective in treating this disease. We published a number of papers on it at the time and we thought that CD6 depletion was a very promising approach to prevention of graft-versus-host disease. In GVHD, there are two main ways people have thought about treating the disease, modulating the activity of the cells and modulating the trafficking. Here in Ethelizumab, we have a molecule that modulates both the activity and trafficking. And as we move this forward into a pivotal trial that could lead to being the first approval for patients who currently have no treatments, this could be transformative for patient care. I am John Corrett. I am the lead investigator on the Equilium studies, the um, Etolizumab studies, both the phase 1b and the upcoming phase 3 randomized trial. In our phase 1b trial, what we saw was that in the aggregate, when we look at all 25 patients that were treated on this study, uh, what we find is that they very rapidly uh, had responses in a considerable number of cases. And by responses, I don't mean minor changes in the severity of their disease. In many cases, I'm talking about a complete response, a complete abrogation of all manifestations of active inflammation. If we can replicate anything close to that, I think it truly would be a major advance, but it's a little premature to call it success quite yet. What we can say is that our partners are truly interested in uh, a rigorous evaluation of this drug, so they are performing uh, with us a gold standard phase three randomized international trial where we will truly rigorously be comparing all patients getting steroids to be randomized to getting the study medication versus placebo. As a scientist who's been doing research um, for over 15 years, it's encouraging to see, especially with the preliminary data coming out of our phase one study, the potential for italizumab to help patients with acute GVHD and hopefully be a game changer in this disease. The journey to develop a product is long, often, often decades long. I've been in the business for more than three decades now, and to do it with a small team is a special thing, and, and build a company that's purposely built around doing that is, is really a fantastic effort for us. And now that we're in the space where we're able to get to our confirmatory pivotal trials and really see if we can impact patients' lives and bring this to market is, is really something special and, and rare. We also have elizumab in uh, development for other indications such as lupus and lupus nephritis. We've also recently acquired uh, a smaller biotech company 
uh, Bionis Therapeutics, where we have brought in through that acquisition an underlying technology platform to, for discovering uh, new products that are basically uh, multi-cytokine inhibitory based products. And we are you know, really motivated with a, a patient focus first. And we feel that if we can do right by uh, patients, uh, the rest will follow in terms of uh, you know, additional success. But it's really with a, a patient focus first.